Welcome back to another tutorial. And as promised, these are the love letter apples. Okay, we're going to go over the things that you will need. Your pot, spatula, light carol syrup, sugar, your apples, of course, fondant, your thermometer, lip mold or any mold that you want to use for your embellish. I mean, it can be anything. It don't have to be the lip molds. And poppy paint or any edible art paint. And a little cup. These cups, I got them. I keep them when they come inside the cupcake um, liners. I just keep them and use them. Or you can use an edible marker. I went ahead and already placed my sticks into the apples. And by doing so, a little of the sap seeped out of the apples. Just take a paper towel and just run it around like that. You're going to do that for all your apples. You don't have to worry. They're not going to seep up again. And I also have a damp paper towel that I already had um, wet. And I'm just going to wipe the apples down. And I will leave in the description box below where you can get the wooden sticks to go inside the straws. And I'll show you how they look. These are the sticks that you want to go inside your candy apples um, straws. And like I said, I leave the link where you can get it in the description box. Okay, now that we got all that out of the way, move everything aside. And you're going to start with the sugar. We're gonna do four cups of sugar. We should probably can cut this um, recipe in half because I only have four apples, but I'm still gonna stick with four cups of sugar. One, two, three, and four. Okay, put that away. And one cup of Cairo. I'm going to do one cup of Cairo and one cup of water. Okay, take it. Like I said, I got this big thing of Cairo from Sam's. They only offer it at my Sam's on the holidays through Thanksgiving and Christmas. Other than that, I can't find it. So I make sure I just stock up during that time of the year. Okay. Now we're gonna add four cups of water. I mean, one cup of water. I'm sorry. 
one cup of water. Yeah, I'm just filling a bowl up with water so I can put it back on the side that I'm working on. Okay. We're going to mix this all the way up. Make sure you mix it in well. Okay. Now I have that water in the bowl because I'm not by the sink. I'm usually by the sink when I'm mixing this. Just gonna take the water and run it along the side to get all that sugar from off the side and the inside of it because you don't want your candy to break down. Insert your thermometer and put it on the stove. And I put mine between five and six. And I'll be back when I get the mixing. Okay, I'm back. Now that my mix has completely cooked, I'm going to add in a drop of the pina colada flavoring. I'm going to give that a good mix. And you'll also need your white food gel coloring. And any other color that you want to use. And I want to make these like a pink, pinkish tint to them. So that's why I'm using um, pink, but you can um, just use the white or like I said, any color. Going to add a drop or two into your mix. So, I'm going to add a drop because, like I said, I want these to be like a um, oh, shoot, like a tent. Well, I added too much pink, so we're just going to do pink. So, I wanted like a pinkish um, tint, but I put too much, um, too big of a drop. So, take it. Okay, we're going to start with an apple. Take your apple, and you're going to place it in, not touching the bottom, and you're just going to twirl, twirl it. Lift it. Give it a twirl. Hold it upside down. And the reason why you hold it upside down is because you just want that candy to harden up. So you won't have that big black um, puddle on the bottom. Some people take it and 
rub it against that pot, the excess off. Then you gotta place it. Do the other. Give it a shake. Then give it a twirl. And if you have to just shake it to the candy come off, the excess candy. Pull it upside down. Then you gotta place it. <coughs> Excuse me. shake and what I mean by when some people take it they just run it across the bottom like that to remove some of it then you're gonna place it same for the rest of them Upside down, then you're gonna place it. Okay, I'm also doing some strawberries. No, they're not gonna be chocolate since I already got SS Candy Lil. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna do our strawberries the same way. And with the strawberries, I like to take the stems. This time, that way your candy won't get on your arm still. Taking it just twist tight like that. Okay, take your candy strawberry. I mean, your strawberry. Dip it. Twirl it. Shake it. That's so. And you're just gonna place it down. Wait a little bit and just place it down. And you're gonna do your other one the same way. Take it and twist tight. Like that. Take it, dip it, make sure you coat it. See? Shake it. Place it in. And the same with the rest of them. Then you should gather all the leaves, gather all of them. 
y'all like I said when I'm doing these videos I, I do what's, what works best for me I don't know how nobody else do it and that's really not my business I can only show you what works for me take it and dip it Wait a little bit before you place it because you don't want to have a big puddle. And sit it. And I had these um, strawberries already cleaned and in my refrigerator because I have to dip them in the morning for someone. I just didn't feel like dipping tonight. Take it. Insert it. Coat it. Wait a minute. See how I got bubbles on this one? Now be careful when doing these because this mix is really hot and you can really burn yourself. Okay. Now that that's all out the way, you're just going to put halfway three pot up with water. I have a lot of mix left over, but that's okay. But halfway, fill this up with water. Put it on the stove on high. Let the candy boil right out. And after that, you just take your towel, clean it out with water, and you're good to go. Okay, so we'll be back to do the next step. Okay, now we're going to make the piece, the pieces, the final pieces. And since they are pink, I'm going to use red bundle. Take your mold. Start off with a little piece, because when it's little, you can always add it, but when it's a lot, you can always take away. Make sure you get in all the crevices. y'all my lighting is not good in this living room because one of my bulbs went out and I never did change it so and just pop them out two more sure you had it you got it all in and so you just pop them out put that to the side and we're gonna start off with we're gonna use edible paint take the little plastic thing that come inside the cupcake wrapper and add some to it Y'all also can use the little fine paint brushes. But I find using the point on the edible marker works fine for me. And you're gonna take your apple, dip it into some of the paint, and you're just gonna write like you're writing in cursive. 
I mean, it don't have to be words. It could be words. I mean, just like it's purpose sprouting, really, but in a, in a nicer way. And you're just going to put L-O-V-E. I mean, just, just anything, really. It don't have to be words. It, I mean, it can be anything. Love always. And you're just going to do this all around the apple. And everything. The world. To me. Love always. I mean, you can put anything you want to put. This is your apple. I mean, you can be scribble, scrabble, words. You can put L, 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 V, E all the way around. I mean, whatever. Just make it, make it your own. Or if you're giving this to someone that's close to you, put the words on the that's in your heart, or you know what you want to say. Always and forever, my love, best friend. I mean, anything you want to say, put it on the. If you don't have nothing to say, just make it like you're saying something. Struggle struggle, but just in a in a cursive in a nice way, like I'm doing on most of these. I mean, spell out love. However many times it takes to get around this apple. And just keep twirling it till you got the apple filled up, like you're writing on a letter, on a piece of paper. See. I'm trying to get it to where my hand won't be in the way. L O V E, L O V E, L O V E. And just keep going until you get around the apple. such and then you're gonna take your lip and you're just gonna place it on that's so you saw I didn't use any water to um seal it down because the fondant is already soft so that way it's gonna hold then you take the other one and do the same way Now, for the front of your apple, try to, when you're doing the writing, try to make a couple of words stand out to where you, where somebody looking at it would know what that word is. I love you, always, and forever. My heart. My lover and my friend. I just keep going all the way around the apple. Just spell out words. Friend, husband, wife, 
boyfriend, girlfriend, I mean, anything you want to put. Just keep going around. I love you. Always. Forever. Yeah, I'm not spelling out no words. I'm just making it look like I'm spelling a word, but I'm really not. I'm just trying to get this apple filled all the way up with writing. And so. Take a look. Find what's going to be your front of the apple and you place it. Okay, for a strawberry, the same way. Just continue to go all the way around. As such. Start to grind on you. You don't have to, like I say, y'all, you don't have to say nothing. Just put it to where you're writing. And I think this strawberry is starting to get a little sticky. Because I forgot I had my heat on. Because it's a little cold. And plus my baby is sick, so I'm trying to keep it, you know, warm to it, not freezing in here. So my strawberries are still a little sticky. Well, this rubber is thicker, the other one wasn't. Just make it say, I mean, like I said, you can, you can actually think of something to say and just put it on here, see if it's going to break down. Strawberries do not last y'all at all. Okay, let's on to the other apple. Okay, just make it say anything. Anything you wanted to say. This is your apple, your your um creativity, your thoughts, so just keep going all the way around the apple. I'm not going to really be saying much because my wrist hurt in front of twirl. So. Just make it say anything you want, basically. And I'm using the edible art paint. I'll show you which one I'm using. 
because with the poppy paint, I love poppy paint, but poppy paint, before they redid the poppy paint, you have to go over it twice, sometimes three times, just to get that deep color, that true color of the poppy paint. But I had already had some of that old formula. So just keep going all the way around the apple. No matter how close we got the words together or anything. Just as long as you make it neat. And you can spell out love, like I said, a million times. If that's what it takes to get around this apple. And just keep going till you have it filled up. Okay, take your lips and you're just going to place it. So I'm going to get the other one done and I'll be back. Okay, now that I'm back, I got them all written on. Now we're going to make some uh, embellishments for the strawberries. And I got a simple little rose mold. Gonna take the little fondant. Like I said, if you put too much, you can always pull away some. Make each pattern into all the cracks. And so, then we're just gonna push up by pressing in the back. Until it come out. And so, we're just going to take a berry, and we're just going to place it. And we're going to do the rest for the rest of them. Pop it up. Take your beard, take a rose, and just put it, stick it on. Take it and just stick it on. Done. 
you know, strawberries do not last long at all. They start to break down like this one. Okay, oh, I forgot to mention, just to remove the stem, to sit it and just pull it out and just unravel your own um, twist tie. Push your leaves out, same with the rest of them. Unravel your twist ties to fix your leaves. Unravel, fix your leaves, and just push it out. And it come right out. And those are your love letter apples. So y'all can, um, I mean, just have fun with it. Make it your own. Like I said, you don't have to really write out whole sentences, whole words. I mean, you could if you want to, because I have. But I mean, just do like a rubber scrabble. But, you know, make it look nice. Or whatever, like it is a word, but you can't really see what it is. That type of thing. Um, and let's go over what you're going to need. You're going to need your apples, of course. Your strawberries, crossos, whatever you're doing this um, with. You're going to need your sticks, your straws for the apples. You're going to need bamboo stores or um, two, long toothpicks, twist ties. You're gonna need four cups of sugar. My rest, my original recipe I use is not my recipe. Um, I Googled it when I first started making candy apples. And that's four cups sugar, two cup of water, and one cup, no, four cups sugar, two cup K roll, and one cup of water. Um, and that's the recipe I use, by, I use daily. But tonight I did four cups sugar, one cup um, K roll, and one cup of water. And you're gonna cook it to 302. You're gonna need your poppy paint or any edible art paint. Or your poppy paint. You're gonna need paint brushes, really fine tips. Um, or you can use, like I did, the edible marker and use the tip from it. You're gonna need your lip mold or whatever mold you're using to put the little embellish on there. You know, the finer touches. You're gonna need fondant. You're gonna need, um, what else did we use? You're gonna need your white gel food coloring. And that gel color is to make it not be transparent. Like you can see through it, through the apple or whatever. Um, any other food color of choice. You see I had pink. And that's about it. So, that is the finished product. Let me get it up close so I can see. That's it. That's the strawberries and the apples. I mean, y'all, it's, it's really about just having fun with it. You know, I mean, no, I'm not the originator, originator of these apples. Um, I had some a while back. I want to say two years ago. In a group that I put on um, was in on Facebook, um, and I was like, "Oh, that's cute." And then one of my customers um, messaged me the picture, and that's how she wanted. So I did. Um, no, I didn't take a tutorial on these apples. No, I didn't pay for these apples. I mean, I really just looked at it. I mean, this how it can be done. I need it. Um, so I'm not taking ownership of nobody else's work. I mean, it's mine because I did it. No, I didn't think of it first, you know, how people can get with that. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, I guess we'll discuss that another time. But um, anyway, that's how you do it. That's my version of how I do it. I mean, I guess people got their own way of doing things or whatever. But that's how I do mine. Um, just play around with it. Too. I mean, you find what works best for you. And that's what I try to say in all these videos that I upload. This is what works best for me. You're going to hear that a lot because, it, I mean, it applies to me. 
I mean, I'm not trying to do what nobody else done. I'm not trying to do what how nobody else did. Which, in the treat world, I mean, you're going to see these apples, different apples, your apples. I mean, any apples floating around a million times. I mean, but take it and make it your own. That's all I can say about that. But um, anyway, any hoops. Those are your love letter apples and your strawberries. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe. I cannot talk. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> yeah, I'm human. And to be honest, y'all, I still get nervous making videos. So, there you have it. <laughs> but anyway. Like I said, don't forget to like and just subscribe to this video, um, to my channel or whatever. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. And y'all, y'all stay blessed. I mean, and remember, y'all, I know when I post something on YouTube, I know it's there for the whole world to watch. That don't bother me. But like I said, no negative or rude comments will be allowed because I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to block you. Um, so, I mean, evidently, if you come into this channel, you're looking for how to do something. I mean, but it don't cost for you to come up on here and be rude and nasty for no reason. I mean, because if you don't like the way I'm doing it, by all means, find another video. Find another channel. I mean, you don't have to be rude. You don't have to be nasty. If this is not, if this is not for you, leave. Leave the video. Um, I don't know how else to, to um, say it, but I know once you post something on the internet, it's for the world. I mean, everybody going to have their opinions. Everybody going to say this wrong, that's wrong. I mean, that, and I'm fine with it. Like I said, I'm just going to delete it and block it. So, there you have it once again. The love letter apples and the strawberries. So, yeah, I'm about to go to sleep because it's like almost 4 o'clock in the morning here. And I do have to get my baby up for school if she's feeling a little better to go in the morning. So, yeah, have a good night, a morning, whatever time of the day it is where you're at. And I just hope your day is um, full of blessing. Until the next video. Talk to y'all later. Good night. A good morning. <laughs> Bye.